This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. It reads through the Holy Scriptures. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore scrokes in the time of the destruction they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made it. This is Matthew 24, uh, 24 and 12, and it reads. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And the definition of iniquity, the definition of iniquity is a noun, plural, iniquities, immoral or grossly unfair behavior. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. 1044, call Allah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Excuse me for the ad. Wait for this to go past. We now know the names of the three people shot and killed this morning in Paramore. Police say the victims are 69-year-old Carol Fulmore, 13-year-old Damiana Reed, and 7-year-old Cameron Bowie. This is the alleged gunman, 28-year-old LaCarvis Tamar Daly. Police say he turned his gun on officers who returned fire, killing him. As watched to tonight, Gabrigetius reports the officers were responding to a domestic violence call. Police say a domestic violence call brought them to a home in Paramore at 225 Sunday morning. When they arrived, they heard gunshots and then they say all of a sudden the suspect walked out of the home and shot at officers. He was killed when officers fired back and when police entered the home, they found three people who were shot. I'm just shot. I'm just flabbergasted and just shot. Joanne Capel lives across the home where Orlando police found three people dead on Easter morning. She told us one of the people who lives there is her beloved neighbor. Last night about 2.20, she called me. I missed her call. A minute later at 2.21, she texted me, called the police, he's shooting. Police received a domestic violence call at 2.25 in the morning. Three minutes later, they came to a home near Paramore Avenue and Grant Street and then heard gunshots. A suspect walked out of the house, walked towards the officers, shot at the officers. The officers returned fire and the suspect fell. The suspect, LaCorvis Daly, was killed. Police entered the home and found three people who were shot. Capel believes one of the victims was that neighbor who called her for help just minutes before gunshots were fired. It's one of the sweetest person's best neighbor I have ever had in my entire life and I'm 66 years old and I mean she is the sweetest person that you ever want to meet she would do anything for you. Cecil Allen was in the neighborhood earlier that night to see his goddaughter go to prom. They said that my godmom was in the house I wasn't sure what happened so I ran up to see what was going on. Tragic event here on Easter Resurrection Sunday. Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill made a stop in the area to check on people in her district. She was preparing an Easter egg hunt for children just three blocks from the crime scene. Trying to uh, connect with the family, let them know that uh, we have services available for them from housing to mental health or whatever needs that they may have. I don't know what's going on. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people that's in your house. All I know, this was a senseless killing. We're still waiting to learn the names of the victims. The two officers who fired back at the suspect were not hurt. They are on paid leave and FDLE is investigating the shooting. OPD says body camera video will be released in 30 days. Reporting in Orlando, Sanai Gabrigadigas, Wash 2 News.